Hello, my name is Stephen Daniel with the Avaya Client Services Technology Development Team. The following video is about configuring SLAMON SNMP trap details for Avaya Diagnostic Server 2.0. Before we begin, let's go over a few key points. This video tutorial will demonstrate how to define an NMS trap destination as well as configure the various alarm levels for your SLAMON server. The procedure described here also applies when configuring SLA MOND to send SNMP traps to your cell gateway. However, there are some important differences between the two you will need to understand. These differences will be pointed out when relevant. SLA MON on a VI Diagnostic Server 2.0 supports SNMP v1, v2c, and v3 for trap notification. And finally, when configuring a cell gateway as the trap destination, you will need to use v2c with an SNMP read community of public or v3 using the SNMP v3 credentials defined in your cell gateway. Begin by logging into the SLAMON server with a user that has admin level privileges. From the tabbed menu, click on Admin, then Properties. In the Add New field, enter the IP address of your NMS or cell gateway. Click Add New and the SNMP trap detail window will appear. This NMS entry will be enabled by default. However, you may still add your NMS details, but disable this profile until needed. Next, select the minimum severity level you would like to receive for your SNMP traps. The choices are warning and above, minor and above, major and above, critical only. I will set this example to minor and above as I am not concerned with my NMS receiving warning level events. Enter the remaining details for your NMS. Define the transport protocol between UDP or TCP. Set the SNMP version of your NMS. You can choose between V2C, V3, or V1. If you select version 3, the corresponding V3 fields for security name, authentication protocol password, and privacy protocol password become active. Populate these V3 parameters with the values defined and required by your NMS. For this tutorial, we will be using V2 and not V3. Set notification type to trap or inform. We will be using trap. Enter the network listening port for where to send your traps. We will use the default of 162. And lastly, set the community string you have defined for your NMS. I will use the default of public. Now that you have provided all of the NMS details, you need to set the alarm type and alarm level for every alarm you would like to receive an SNMP notification for. You do this by first activating the checkbox next to each alarm type. Next, you need to select a minimum alarm severity level for when these traps will be generated. For example, I may set license alarms with a minimum severity of warning. Doing this would instruct my SLAMON server to raise an SNMP trap for this alarm on any license event with a severity level of warning or higher. However, you still need to keep in mind how this individual alarm severity correlates with the overall severity level you defined for your NMS. Continuing with this example, you can see that I have instructed my SLAMON server to only send my NMS traps with a severity of minor or above. This is a global setting and applies to all alarm types listed here. So even though my SLA MON will generate traps for license events of warning or higher, because of this global setting, I will only receive traps when the severity level is minor or higher. Complete this task by activating any other alarms and severities you would like to receive. I will complete my profile by setting QoS alarms to minor, DSP change alarms to minor, and agent discovery alarms to major. After completing all of my entries, I will click on the Save Changes button to complete this profile. You will see a Save Successful message on the top left of the window. One important note about the cell gateway. The gateway can be configured as both a V2C or V3 trap destination. For V2C, you will use port 162 and a community of public. For V3, you will need to enter the V3 parameters you defined in your cell gateway. This option can be found under Secure Access Link Gateway, Alarming SNMP in your Gateway UI. Lastly, the SLAMON server provides the capability to remove or copy an existing NMS profile as well as a method 
to send a test trap. If I close the SNMP trap detail window, you'll notice under the SNMP traps tab, I have a remove and copy to option and also a start test button. To generate a test trap, simply select your NMS below and click on the start test button. To copy a profile, select it from the list below, enter the IP address of the new NMS in the copy to field, then click the copy to button. This will create a new SNMP profile with this new IP address using the configuration of the selected profile. And finally, to remove a profile, select it from the list below, then click remove. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.